Hello everyone and welcome, this is the Silent K and today we're playing some Mega Mech and we're starting off with the initiative phase. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off last week. Um, we have one initiative going into round three, we have reinforcements arriving on round five and round nine. We're at 98.9% .9 of our forces, team two is at 96.9% .9 of theirs. Our objective is to destroy this gazelle, or cripple it to where it can't take off. Uh, to that end, we've done some damage to its left side and its nose, um, but they're starting to close in, and this could be a problem. We're spread a little thin. We've got uh, Petra and the Banshee and Yarvik and the uh, Rifleman up here. We've got uh, our uh, allied liaison in the griffin right here he's a 4-6 pilot we've got uh wyvern in the srm boat down here and we've got earl in the atlas here uh so we're like i said we're spread kind of thin they are kind of walking into the middle of our formation uh which is not necessarily a bad thing so far we're only starting to see their recon units up close uh we've done serious damage to the cicada he's down to just a small laser he's missing his left arm uh, the Drillson, the Stinger, the Falcon, and the Phoenix Hawk are all untouched, however. And we've got a Crusader, a Shadow Hawk, a Hatchetman, and a Hunchback on the horizon. As well as a second dropship, this Triumph over here, has some LRMs he's been throwing into the mix. Uh, so that has um, kind of made me want to keep my distance and just kind of bombard the Gazelle from far away. Gribbly, hi, how are you? Also, uh, Mr. McGorilla and Varenk, I did not, uh, did not mention you guys either. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, hey, and welcome to the stream, glad you could make it. Uh, right now we were just about to, uh, replace our players with Princess, with their original settings. All right. Combat user interface engaged, all systems nominal. Uh, I think I want to start with save Wyvern. I think Earl, we know what he's going to do without uh, really having to think too hard about it. Uh, we're going to just have him, do we want to have him run up? So far, all he's been using is his LRM. And I think maybe the LBX has uh, has seen some use, perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, he's mainly been an LRM boat up to this point. I'd like to get his medium lasers into the fray, maybe against the Drillson or the Falcon or the Stinger, whoever wants to come his way. Uh, the hover tanks are so quick. They've got a Maxim now, another Drillson. Uh, Yarvik has two jammed ultra auto cannons, and honestly, I don't remember if I have the optional rule turned on to where he can unjam those. I don't think I do. So he's down to two large lasers and two mediums. So I'm thinking he's in a heavy woods, it looks like. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep him there. Oh, this unit has jammed weapons, really. Uh, yeah, unjam... Oh, I guess I do have that option turned on. I did not realize it was something you would do in lieu of movement, but apparently it is. Uh, let's see, our friendly griffin. Maybe jump into these woods, get some evasion going on, and maybe take some pot shots at that assassin from a range of ooh, seven hexes. That's good for the LRMs, not so much the PPC. But uh, we're uh, kind of running hot, so I guess keeping the PPC quiet for turns not a big deal. Um, Petra with the long range guns, kind of blocking, uh, blocked from view by all these woods from the hunchback, the gazelle she is able to hit. Uh, but maybe I'd like to get her to where she can engage kind of this region. 
kind of over here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have her and her movement moving kind of southwards. Kind of get a regrouping going on. Uh, Wyvern does not have jump jets. Uh, can maybe close in on this Phoenix Hawk who's in heavy woods, but does not appear to be evasive. Or the Stinger. Oh, wait, no, there are some evasion tips there. He jumped six. Oh, he's quite evasive, actually. They both are. Uh, the Drillson. Not what I meant to do. Drillson also has a TMM of two. Maybe we can get into, uh, yeah, we can get into short range from the Drillson. Maybe take him out real quick. All right, no checks during the movement phase. Uh, okay, need six to unjam the rack, the uh, ultra auto cannons, uh, not racks. Uh, need got a ten and a nine, so that was successful. <laughs> hey, Varank, glad you could make it. Um, hope you didn't miss too much. Uh, right now we've got the Griffin, who's already got eight points of heat. He's gonna fire the LRMs on the 11, please. We can get the Hatchman on the 10. Yeah, we'll fire at the Hatchman. He's just an easier target. Uh, Earl. Perhaps take out the Stinger real quick on 8s. Phoenix Hawk on 10s, the Clint on 11s, the Shadow Hawk on 10s. Uh, the Hunchback on a 12 or the Gazelle on a 5. Uh, I'm sorely tempted to just keep shooting at the Gazelle, but on the other hand, we could get XP for killing the Stinger. Oh, your sound was off? Okay, yeah, because uh, I'm pretty sure I turned mine on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, let's... Oh, if we could hit with the LB-10X, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, we're going to unload on this poor little stinger. Hopefully we land enough uh we'll go two heat over on eights and a ten with the small laser uh hopefully we can land some hits and disable him uh petra has eyes on the hunchback on tens or the gazelle on fives that's gonna be a pretty easy decision to make Everything else is short range, which she has no targets for. Okay, well, at least we don't have to worry about her overheating. Uh, Wyvern on the Drillson has 11s with the uh, small lasers or 4s with the SRMs. Uh, we'll go heat neutral with 8 racks of SRMs. Oh, I saw stunned and locked. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk missing on sevens and nines. Uh, the Stinger missing on oh, missing on an eight, but landing both machine guns on tens to the right and left legs, down to thirty nine and thirty four armor, barely a drop in the bucket. Uh, our friendly Griffin missing the Hatchman on a ten. The Hatchman missing the uh, Banshee on a twelve. Crusader on twelves missing Petra as well. Uh, Earl, missing with the LBX and the large laser, sadly. Uh, landing a medium laser to the left torso. And nothing else. Wow. I... Could not roll higher than an 8 for the life of me, I guess. Uh, huh. The Drillson landing a hit on Earl's center torso rear with the ER large and 6 LRMs to the left leg. Uh, he's down to six armor on that center torso rear. Uh, the Shadowhawk missing on sevens and elevens. Uh, landing two LRMs to Earl's left torso. Bad rolls teaches you better strategy and tactics. Um, yeah, I guess when you're fighting an uphill battle, you learn to adapt. 
Uh, the Banshee landing, or sorry, yeah, our Banshee landing a hit on the Gazelle's left side for 10, down to 77 armor there. Uh, the Triumph on 8s, landing a hit on Earl's right leg with a PPC at extreme range, down to 25 armor. The Clint landing an autocannon 5 on Earl's left arm, down to 22. The Gazelle landing a PPC on Yarvik's left leg, down to 18. And 12 LRMs on Earl's center and left torso and right leg. Um, Wyvern at the Drillson, hitting it in the right side repeatedly. Hitting it in the front, costing it a movement point. Oh, the right side immobilizing it. Uh, the right side some more, down to two armor, down to zero armor, down to one structure. And the Drillson is destroyed by the third from the last uh, SARM that hits. So that worked out really nicely. Uh, Earl took 40 plus damage, needs a six, gets a seven. Ouch. Didn't realize he took 40 plus damage that turn. I guess those uh, LRMs add up. Uh, the Clint is at two heat. Earl is at two heat. Everyone else. Uh, the Crusader is at two heat. The Phoenix Hawk is at two heat. Everyone else is running pretty cool. Uh, we've one initiative going into round four. We've got Tsubasa arriving next turn. Uh, we're at 97.7%. They're at 92.9%. So we're doing some good work. Uh, all in all. Uh, Yarvik will continue to stand still. Uh, the Griffin might be standing still this turn as well. We'll see. Petra is going to... Uh, we'll advance at a walk this turn, and then we'll advance at a walk into those woods next turn, and that'll give us a good line of sight over, like, kind of this whole region. So anyone advancing on the Griffin or Wyvern is going to have to move through her kill zone. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? We've got Earl. Earl can get in close with the Clint. Clint's don't have much armor. Uh, also doesn't have much in the way of guns. He is... Pretty evasive, TMM of two. Um, we should be needing, what, like sixes, I think? Earl's a, yeah, Earl's a three, four, so that'll be sixes. Uh, last, well, not last, uh, the Griffin. Oh, Drillson over here is immobile. We can take some pot shots at him. I believe that Drillson has either a large laser or an ER large laser. If we could take him out. Yeah, he's got an ER large, so this is all going to be medium range for him. Uh, Wyvern can maybe get in here close behind the Stinger, who is... Not at all evasive. Oh yeah, we're going to annihilate a stinger this turn. Uh, the Drillson needs to make a piloting check while for flanking and turning. Fails. Needed a three, got snake eyes. Side slips into prohibited terrain and hex 4718. Takes 10 damage to the front, leaving him with 12 armor. And the stinger needs an eight for moving backwards over an elevation change. Gets an eight. His base piloting skill is seven. He is... Not a good pilot. Uh, let's start with Petra with the big guns. Uh, we've got the Assassin on 11s. We've got the Hunchback on 9s. We've got the Drillson on 7s. Or we've got the Gazelle on 4s. And we've got the Gazelle on his left side. So I think we're going to keep hammering that home. Um... Looks like that's about it for her. Uh, Yarvik has the Drillson on sixes. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Or we've got the gazelle on fives. Uh, the Drillson. I think the Griffin's gonna go for the Drillson. Um, Yarvik's gonna go for the gazelle because it's the easier shot. And we're gonna go ultra mode on the auto cannons uh, because we've got the heat sinks for it and the ammo. Uh, the Griffin at the Drillson on an 11. What happened? Long range. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll throw a 9 at it. Because I guess the alternative is... Well, I guess we could go up to 3 heat, but it's on an 11. We'll take this as a cooldown turn, I guess. I don't want to be at 3 heat for an 11. Uh, Earl. Seems to be the center of his own little party. Uh, has the Clint on 6s. And the Clint has the worst levels of armor. Uh, do we go 6 heat over for an 8 on the Phoenix Hawk? I don't think we do. Uh, Wyvern at the Stinger on fives and twos. Uh, yeah, we'll go four heat over to finish off the Stinger. SRMs are not super accurate. I saw no gyro though, so we got the kill. Uh, the Clint, uh, landing all three hits on fives and sevens on Earl's center torso, left leg, and right torso for five each. Uh, the Gazelle hitting Yarvik in the center torso with the PPC down to 14. Autocannon 5 to the left arm and 12 LRMs. Uh, oh, that's to Earl's left arm. And 12 LRMs to his left torso, right arm, and left arm. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk, uh, 3S, firing a large pulse laser at Earl's left leg, connecting for 9 points of damage. Two medium lasers to the center torso and left leg again down to 14. Machine guns to the right torso and left leg, and the AMS to the left arm. Uh, left leg is down to 12 now. The Petra at the Gazelle hits it in the left side for 20, down to 57, and the aft for 10, down to 90. Uh, yeah. Um, Earl is not evasive on fives and sevens, and yeah, he's they hit with like everything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you'd expect them to hit with some of it but not all of it even on fives like they are way more accurate on fives than we are <laughs> uh sevens eights sixes fives and sevens and just every single one connects kind of ridiculous to be honest um uh the stinger landing a medium laser on the left arm machine guns to the left torso rear and right arm continuing the streak of everything landing on earl uh, Yarvik at the Gazelle hits it in the aft and the nose, uh, jamming the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 uh, with Snake Eyes, and then the other one landing the left side in the nose, down to 52 armor on that left side. Uh, the Hatchiman landing 8 clusters of LBX ammunition on Earl, uh, looks like mainly to the legs, but also the right arm. Uh, the Griffin at the Drillson missing on a 9, the Crusader at Earl. Landing 12 LRMs to the left leg and right arm. Finally, missing with something that was shooting at Earl <laughs> with the medium laser. A uh, total of 21 LRMs to the right arm and left leg mainly. Uh, left leg is down to zero armor. That's a problem. Uh, the Shadow Hawk at Earl on the left arm and the right leg and the right arm for five each. Uh, SRMs to the right arm times two, uh, down to 10 armor on the right arm. Earl at the Clint hits him in the left leg with the LBX, missing with the large laser. Two medium lasers to the left torso and one to the right, another one to the left torso, critting on one of his medium lasers and a jump jet. Uh, medium laser to the right leg, down to three armor. SRMs to the right and left legs, critting on another jump jet, down to four structure. Uh, the Assassin landing an SRM on Petra's center torso down to 38. The Triumph hitting Earl in the right leg with a PPC at extreme range down to 3 armor. 
Auto cannon five to the right torso for three, down to 27. LRM 20 to the center torso and left arm for six, and costing him his last point of edge. Uh, LRM 15 at Petra hits for five to the CT. Wyvern at the stinger hits it in the right torso rear, right torso rear, left torso rear, center, center. Uh, yeah, that's an engine hit, that's a jump jet hit, and that is engine destruction. Followed by center torso rear destruction. Okay, so that might have been a little bit of overkill. Uh, the Clint needs a 7 to avoid falling down, gets a 5, takes 4 to the left arm, down to 2 armor there. Needs a 7 to avoid hurting the pilot, gets a 5, needs a 3 to stay conscious, gets an 8. Uh, Earl took 120 plus damage that turn. Needs a 10 to stay standing, gets a 3. Uh, <laughs> Man, even if it had been just his base piloting, he would have failed that. Uh, taking 10 to the center torso and left leg, almost getting the crit on the left leg, down to 16 structure. And hurting the pilot in the fall, uh, needs a 3 to stay conscious, gets a 3. Yeah, no, they really don't like Earl. You can say that again. Uh, need to get him out of there. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk kicked him in the left arm, he's down to 9 structure. Need to get him up and out of the fight. Uh, he's just taking too much of a beating. Uh, Yarvik and the Griffin are at zero heat. The Clint is at one. Earl is at three. Uh, the Hatchetman is at eight heat. The Crusader is at seven. Assassin is up to four heat, mainly from jumping. Uh, Wyvern is at four heat. Uh, we've lost initiative going into round five. We're about to deploy. Um, Tsubasa, we've got 94.4% of our forces remaining, one of them heavily damaged. Uh, Team 2 is at 86.5% of their forces, with two destroyed, two crippled, and one heavy damage. Uh, moving on. Uh, it's my turn to deploy, and I think I want him in these heavy woods, so that he can move into these heavy woods, so that he can start firing his ER larges at these guys and covering Earl's retreat. Alright, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start with that, actually. Uh, Yarvik will continue standing still. We've got a hunchback on the way. We need to do something about him. Uh, actually, what kind of hunchback is that? That is... That is the 4G, uh, the one with the autocannon 20. So yeah, he gets close, that's going to be a real problem. Uh, the Griffin uh, will also stand still this turn. Uh, Earl will wait for after Wyvern to go so that we can start retreating in that direction. Uh, Petra is going to walk into this hex, take some shots at the Hunchback as well. Um, Wyvern would love to be able to get into the back of the Phoenix Hawk, but I don't see that happening, so we will advance on the Hatchetman, who is in heavy woods with partial cover. He's not going to be an easy target. Um, maybe we'll have a better luck with the Crusader. Uh, we can actually get... Oh, he doesn't have partial cover from there. And that's short range. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, the assassin is falling back. Oh, I forgot I had a jammed AC. Dang it. Well, I appreciate you trying to remind me. Uh, I don't know why it didn't give me the pop-up like it did last time. Uh, Earl... Earl just needs to get the heck out of there. Well, you know, sprinting is less evasive. Um, needs a 4 to stay stand to get standing. Let's hope he makes it. And now he can back tank for a turn or two. The Cicada flees the battlefield. Uh, Earl needs a 4, gets an 8. The Clint needs a 5, gets a 7. Uh, let's see. 
Yarvik. The Hunchback on 11s. That's Drillson on 4s. Or at the Gazelle on 5s. I guess that's going to be shots at the Drillson, and we'll go for the front. And do we have any targets for the medium laser? Doesn't look like we do. Uh, let's go to Petra, who we should have done first. She's got the Hunchback on eights. That's not bad. Um, eights and twelves will go one heat on twelves. Uh, the Griffin at the Hunchback has him on tens. We'll take those shots just to be two over. Uh, oh, the Hunchback is firing on Wyvern. Wyvern was slightly evasive. He needs eights. That's, uh, that's not ideal. <laughs> uh, and Earl only has the medium laser in his back, which he can fire on a 10 at the Clint. Uh, Tsubasa has the Clint on tens as well. And Ash has the Crusader on 11, well, with the small lasers. We've got him on fours, we've got him on sixes. Uh, the Hatchetman is firing cluster munitions, so the auto cannon 10 is not a huge threat. That's just three medium pulses and a bunch of splash damage. Crusader has the LRMs and the medium lasers and the SRMs. So I'm thinking the Crusader is the bigger threat. And to that end, I'm going to try to blow him up. Hopefully I can get a through armor crit to a CT. Oh, I saw Ash's or uh, Wyvern's uh, health bar just go down. Uh, Yarvik at the Drillson hits it in the left side, hits it in the front, hits it in the rear twice. So that was not what I was shooting for. Uh, the Triumph hits Earl in the right leg with a PPC. Uh, hits Wyvern in the right arm with an autocannon 10. Hits Petra with 9 LRMs to the right arm and left torso. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk missing Earl on a 9. Petra at the Hunchback hits him in the right torso and the left torso, uh, missing with everything else. Griffin at the Hunchback missing on tens. The Hunchback at Wyvern hits him in the right leg with the autocannon, down to ten armor there. Medium laser to the right leg again, down to five. Medium laser to the left arm, down to seventeen. Uh, the Hatchman taking a cooldown turn apparently, only firing one medium pulse on an eleven. Earl at the Clint missing on a 10. The Crusader firing SRMs at Wyvern, landing four of them to the CT and the arms. Um, Earl at the, uh, sorry, Tsubasa at the Clint missing on 10s. The Shadowhawk missing the Griffin on 9s and 8s, and a medium laser to the right torso. Uh, four SRMs to the left torso, right torso and left leg. Uh, let's see, the Assassin missing on 11, Wyvern at the Crusader, landing SRMs all over. This is just going to be sandblasting him at this point. I'm um, hoping to see a through armor crit, and I didn't see one. His, uh, his armor is not much thinner than it was to begin with. Uh, he's, uh, he's been peppered. Uh, the Clint landing a hit on Earl's center torso down to 17 armor there. The Gazelle at Petra missing on a 7. Hitting a, uh, Earl in the left arm with an autocannon 5. Hitting Petra with 12 L arms to the CT in the left arm and left torso. Hunchback needs a 3 to stay standing, gets a 6. Crusader needs a 6 to stay standing, gets a 9. Petra needs a 5, gets a 10. Wyvern needs a 5, gets a 7. Uh, our, our griffin is at two heat. Our hatchman is at five still. Uh, the hunchback is at two. The crusader is at seven. Wyvern is at three. And we've won initiative going into round six by virtue of the dice. So we've got uh, reinforcements coming on round nine. We're at 92 and a quarter percent. They're at 83.7%.
So we're pulling ahead. Question is, is it worth it? Um, need to get Earl out of the Archer. Princess, hey. Uh, Earl's not in the Archer. Earl is in the Atlas. Uh, yeah, we're going to unjam the rack and stand still. Uh, the Griffin might be able to tank a hit from the Hunchback, so we are actually going to stand still. We'll take a cooldown turn this turn. We'll try to hit him with a PPC. Uh, Earl will continue advancing to the rear, followed by the Shadowhawk, apparently. Uh, Tsubasa will stand still in those heavy woods and provide covering fire. Petra. Uh, there's an assassin that's awfully tempting, but the hunchback needs to go. Uh, we are in the hunchback's left side, which is where he keeps his armor and where he's also already taken a PPC already. Uh, let me double check that. Yeah, if we can crit on his left torso, that would be lovely. <laughs> this fight princess hates atlases too? Yeah, she does. Uh, she has done quite a lot of damage to him in a very short amount of time. Uh, Wyvern will back tank the Crusader for a turn at a range of four hexes, which is not a good range for a Crusader. Uh, the Hatchetman at a range of five hexes, that's also going to be long range for all of his stuff, except the LBX, which is shooting pellets. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to shoot the Phoenix Hawk in the back enough to take him down. He does have ammo. Oh, we did not unjam the rack. Uh, Griffin at the Hunchback on a 6. We'll fire that. And we've got... Heck, we've got the Falcon on an 8. We might as well. That'll put us 4 over. We can jump away next turn... Uh, we are taking an auto cannon 20 to the face. We're also taking fire from the Maxim. Uh, Earl. Everything is front mounted except for one medium laser, which we can fire on a 9. Uh, Tsubasa. Has the Phoenix Hawk on 6s, has the Shadow Hawk on 6s as well. Uh, we'll go for the. Phoenix Hawk. We'll throw in a medium laser on a 10 because we're not moving, so we're going to be cooling down constantly. Uh, Petra at the Hunchback on 6s. Uh, we'll hold off on the LBX until the end because we're going to go pellets because I'm hoping to score hits on that left torso. Uh, we'll do... SRM and cluster munitions. Uh, Wyvern into the back of the Phoenix Hawk. Who, oh, Wyvern is taking fire from every side, especially in the back. From the Gazelle, from the Triumph, from the Drillson, and it looks like the Hatchetman as well. That sucks. Uh, let's see how much of this ammunition we can dump before it gets critted on. Uh, we'll hold off. I don't want to lose any movement points next turn. Uh, and we've gone prone. We've gone prone. That sucks. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk hits Wyvern in the left arm with the large pulse. Le medium lasers to the left. A medium laser to the left torso and an AMS to the CT. The Maxim hits the Griffin with uh, six SRMs, mainly to, well, it looks like the arms and the legs, a little bit to the left torso. The Griffin hits the Hunchback in the CT with a, pe with a PPC, uh, down to 16 armor there. The Hunchback missing the Griffin on a nine, missing on all the nines. The Hatchetman at Wyvern hitting him, hitting him in the left leg and the right arm with uh, medium pulse lasers on the forearm or on that right arm. And the LBX to the right torso rear, left torso rear down to five, right arm and right leg. Right leg's down to three. I need to get him out of there too. 
the Crusader at Earl hits him in the right arm with some LRMs, hits him in the right leg, critting on his lower leg, down to 10 structure. Center torso rears down to one armor. Earl missing on a nine. The Drillson at Wyvern hits him in the left torso rear and the center torso rear down to zero armor on that left torso. Uh, the Shadowhawk hitting Earl in the right torso with a medium laser and the left arm with a pair of SRM2s, which destroys the left arm. Dang. There goes some double heat sinks. And a medium laser. Uh, and five LRMs to the CT, down to 12 armor. Tsubasa at the Phoenix Hawk, hitting him in the left torso and the center torso with large laser fire. Uh, the Assassin missing on 11, the Triumph at Petra, missing on 7s and 8s. Landing a hit on Wyvern's right torso rear with some LRMs. Center torso rear and left torso rear as well. Uh, Petra at the Hunchback on 6s, missing with a 3 and a 5. Missing all the medium lasers and the SRM. Only landing the six pellets from the LBX. No penetration. Uh, the gazelle at Petra hits her in the left leg and the left torso... Oh, and hits Wyvern in the left torso rear with an autocannon 5. Uh, 20 LRMs on Petra's CT, left torso, right arm, and right leg. The Clint landing an autocannon 5 on Wyvern's left torso on the forearmer there. Wyvern at the Phoenix Hawk hits it in the right and left torso rear. Center torso rear, right torso rear two more times, critting on the engine. Uh, right and center torso rear, center torso rear critical for no effect. Left torso rear down to zero armor. Critting on the engine again with the center torso rear. Right torso rear down to five, right torso rear down to three, and critting on the engine for destroyed by engine destruction. Earl stays standing, Petra stays standing, Wyvern goes down and takes 7 damage to the left torso, critting on his engine twice and his SRM, 2 SRM4s. Uh, needs a 6 to avoid hurting the pilot, gets a 4, needs a 3 to stay conscious, gets a 3. Uh, so yeah, uh, Wyvern is in trouble. Uh, the Griffin is at 4 heat. The Hatchetman is at 5, the Hunchback is at 4, the Crusader is at 8, the Shadowhawk is at 4, Wyvern is at 12. And we started a fire in 6021. Um, we've lost initiative going into round 7, we've got units deploying in 2 more turns, we're down to 86% of our forces, they're down to 79% of theirs. This is not going as well as I had hoped. Yeah, there is a lot of trouble going on around here. Uh, we're going to unjam the, the Ultra Auto Cannon. That'll end our movement. That's fine. Um, Wyvern, you cannot afford to back tank anymore. You need to turn your right side to them. Uh, yeah, uh, as long as they don't hit, take out your leg, you should be all right like that. Uh, Tsubasa, continue standing there. Uh, Petra, I want you to advance on that hunchback. I want even better target numbers than you've been getting. I want you to start hitting him. Uh, Griffin. Uh, Griffin. Can we jump in behind the hunchback and go for a punch? I'd really like to crit on his ammo. Uh, Earl, continue advancing towards the rear. All right, whoever needed a three, got a four. Griffin will generate two extra heat this turn. That's fine. Uh, finally, unjammed the rack. 
who do we have? I want to keep my arm free for punching. So that's going to be the LRM. That's going to be the Hatchetman on a 9. Yeah, that's going to be the Hatchetman on a 9. And that'll be two punches into the Hunchback's back. Uh, Earl. You just got the medium laser, and your only target is the hunchback or is the hatchetman on an eleven. Fine. Subasa, you've got the hatchetman on sixes. Uh, Petra, you've got the hunchback on nines. You've got the falcon on nines. You've got the maxim on eights. We've got the Assassin on five, so we could really mess up that Assassin real right now. On fives and sevens, uh, we'll go... I think we'll go four heat over with the mediums and the SRMs. Uh, Wyvern, have you got a shot on the Shadowhawk? Uh, you got shots on the Hatchetman, actually. You got him on sixes. Oh, 13 over? That's no bueno. Uh, we'll go one heat over in case we lose any heat sinks this turn or anything. Uh, but if we take another engine hit, we're screwed. Uh, the Griffin hits the Hatchetman in the left arm and left torso with LRMs. Uh, the Clint hits the Griffin in the left arm with the medium laser. The Triumph missing on eights. The Maxim missing on nines. Earl missed on eleven. The Falcon missing on eights. The Hunchback. Uh, oh no. Hunchback landing a medium laser on Wyvern's left torso rear, which destroys the left torso, blows off the left arm, and destroys the engine in Wyvern's archer. Uh, so that's bad. Uh, Tsubasa landing a hit on the Hatchetman's left torso, down to seven armor there. The Hatchetman uh, landing hits on Wyvern's uh, center torso. Medium pulse laser to the right arm, medium pulse laser to the right arm, LBX to the right arm, destroying and blowing off the right arm. Uh, the Crusader hitting Earl in the right and left leg, critting on both of his hips. Uh, and destroying his right leg. So yeah, Earl might as well eject right now because he is not getting back up. Uh, Petra at the Assassin hits it in the right arm and the right leg, critting on his hip and lower leg, hitting him in the head, forcing his first consciousness check and leaving him with one internal structure. And a medium laser to the right arm, destroying that and transferring him to the right torso. Not going for the death, but the most expensive damage possible? Yeah, I know. And a medium laser to the assassin's head. The assassin is officially dead. Uh, yeah. Uh, both hips, engine crits, parts blown off. It's a mess. Uh, the Drillson uh, hitting Wyvern in the CT with an ER large laser and LRMs to the right torso, down to 15 armor there. Uh, the Shadowhawk at Wyvern hitting him in the CT down to zero armor, right torso down to five armor, critting on his gyro, and his CT is down to 16 structure from the LRMs. So yeah, uh, Wyvern's mech is uh, going to need some, some serious repairs. Uh, on sixes, we've got return fire at the Crusader, we hit him in the CT twice. That's it? We only fired two SRM4s? Uh, I guess we were overheating pretty badly. Uh, the Assassin hits Petra in the CT in the left torso with a pair of SRMs. The Gazelle hits Petra in the left torso with an autocannon 5 and 12 LRMs to the right leg and right torso, down to 25 in both of those locations. Uh, Earl goes down, taking 10 to the left torso and right torso. Needs a 16 to avoid hurting the pilot, gets a 
Uh, an 8 needs a 5 to stay conscious, gets a 7, will be ejecting next turn from prone. Uh, Petra took 20 plus, needs a 5, gets a 10. Uh, Griffin kept his arms free so that he could punch the hunchback in the back twice on 9s. And miss both times? No, we hit him in the right arm for 6, so that's not nothing, I guess. Uh, we are, however, down to uh, four mechs uh, at the moment. Because we had... No, we're down to three. Because we had four, one reinforcement arrived, and then we lost two. Uh, the Hatchetman is at ten heat, the Hunchback is at six, the Crusader is at eight, Petra is at four. Everyone else is running pretty cool. Notice it's all their names on the list and none of mine. Feeling pretty badly outnumbered right now. Going into round eight, we've won initiative. Uh, and we've got Hoser's Ride and Warwolf arriving next turn. We're at 76% of our forces. They're at 76% of theirs. Uh, I do not like having less percentage forces remaining than that. Uh, Yarvik will continue to stand still. Uh, Tubasa will continue to stand still. Uh, Earl might as well go ahead and eject. Needs a seven. I wonder if he took any damage from that. Um, Petra. I think wants to back up and take cover, maybe. Jeez, there's just so many of them, and it feels like it, it seems that way every battle. Alright, uh, let us... Uh, we can get... Five hexes from the clans, but can we get to where we can see him? Yeah, let's see if we can shoot the clint, maybe with a PBC or something. Uh, Earl needs a 7 to eject, gets an 11. He ejects safely, takes no more damage, so he's only going to have two hits. Uh, let's see, Yarvik. Uh, still doesn't have any better targets than this friggin' Drillson, so we might as well finish him off. Uh, we'll go... single shots with the autocannons. Because I don't want to take a chance of them jamming. Uh, and I think... Four shots should be enough to finish this thing off. Uh, the Griffin into the back of the Clint on an 11. Sure, we'll build up four heat for that. Uh, Tsubasa at the Crusader on sevens. Sure. Uh, Petra at the Hunchback on eights. Uh, might be our best shot. Yeah, we'll do uh, regular munitions, and on 12s we'll unload heat neutral. With just one medium laser on a 12. Uh, Earl, of course, cannot fire. Uh, the Gazelle landing 20 LRMs again on Petra's torso, arms, and legs. Uh, the Triumph hitting Petra in the right torso with a PPC. Yarvik at the Drillson hits it in the front and the front and finally destroys that dang thing. The Clint hits the Griffin in the left torso with his autocannon. The Griffin missing the Clint on an 11. Uh, the Hunchback missing on 10s, Tsubasa at the Crusader hits it in the right and set her torso down to 9 armor on that CT. Uh, Petra at the Hunchback hits it in the center torso, missing with everything else. Uh, the Drillson at Petra hits her in the center torso, she's down to 8 armor, and an SRM to the right torso down to 9. 
Uh, nine or six L LRMs to the right and left torso, down to four armor there. The Shadow Hog missing on nines. Petra took 40 plus, needs a six, gets a nine. Our Griffin is at four heat. Everyone else seems to be running cool on our side. Their Hatchetman is at four heat. Everyone else seems to be running cool on their side. Oh man, this is the turn we get reinforcements. Let's see if we can turn the tide here. Alright, Hoser. Your objective is to get into these woods and hold them. And Warwolf. You are to advance? No. Warwolf. Can your LRMs. Your LRMs cannot reach the triumph. We can reach the gazelle. If we can do enough damage to the gazelle with our LRMs to its left side, we might not have to engage. Um. That said, that is extreme range, so we're going to be closing probably to here. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that. All right. Uh, Earl. Moving off the board. Yarvik. Uh, skipping movement. Poser advancing into these woods as planned. Uh, Warwolf advancing, I think, at a run. And then next turn we'll be into those woods. Uh, Tsubasa will skip his movement. Petra. Back up into these woods and hopefully take net less damage next turn. And the Griffin, don't know why I saved him for last. Uh, the Griffin can step this way into those woods and fire some LRMs. Uh, let's see, Yarvik. We've got the Clint on nines. And sevens. Yeah, we'll take nines and sevens, and we'll even on sevens, we'll go ultra mode. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, Hoser. The only target is the Crusader. We've got him on sevens and an eleven. We'll go two heat over for that. Uh, the Griffin has the Hatchetman on an eleven or the Maxim on an eleven. The Clint on an eleven. Crusader on a 10, we'll take that shot, and that'll put us one heat over. Uh, Warwolf, not quite in range with... Oh, we are in range with the large lasers. Nice. Uh, so that's going to be a pair of fours. And that's going to be another pair of fours for the LRMs. And nothing else is in range. Uh, Tsubasa. As the Crusader on sevens, we'll take a couple shots at that. Petra has the Hunchback on elevens, or the Clint on eights, or the Maxim on eights. Uh, can we try to finish off this Clint? How badly hurt is he already? He's kind of badly hurt. Maxim is fresh, but if we could immobilize him. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two shots with the PPCs. We're going to switch to cluster munitions on a seven. Actually, we'll skip that for now. We'll throw in some twelves. 
We'll go two heat over to try to take out the Maxim. Uh, Earl, of course, has no shot. <laughs> All right, the Clint missing on eights and tens. The Gazelle uh, landing 12 LRMs on Petra's left torso and right leg. Down to one armor on that left torso. Need to get her out of there now, too. Uh, Yarvik at the Clint hits him in the right torso. Hits him in the left leg, destroying it and transferring it to the left torso, which is destroyed and transfers into the, uh, no, just destroyed cleanly. Does not transfer. Uh, the other ultra auto cannon shot into the right torso, which transfers to the CT, down to seven armor, and he is now just a leg and a center torso. Uh, so yeah, we will, let me make a note of that. Uh, LNT 2 3T goes to Yarga. Uh, the Triumph landing six LRMs on Petra's standard torso down to two armor. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, Hoser at the Crusader hits it in the center torso of the first PBC and explodes his SRM ammo. Nice shooting Hoser. Uh, Tilly Benos takes two hits, needs a three and a five to stay conscious, gets a pair of eights. Uh, successfully ejects, Crusader destroyed by ejection, PPCs to the left torso and left arm. Griffin at the Crusader hits him with uh, eight LRMs, the Hunchback missing on elevens. <laughs> yes, beating the technician helped. Uh, keep in mind, this is actually a different mech. So, maybe it was a different technician? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is not the same mech that rolled all those snake eyes. Uh, Warwolf at the Gazelle hits it in the aft and the left side with large lasers. Hits it with 8 LRMs to the left side down to 37 armor. We're getting close to our goal. Tsubasa at the Crusader, which is already dead. The Crusader at the Petra hits her with 9 LRMs to the left leg and left arm, costing her her last point of edge. Uh, Petra at the Maxim hits it in the left side, costing it a movement point. Hits it with all 10 pellets from the LBX, immobilizing the Maxim. He's going to be an easy target now. Uh, the Clint automatically falls, takes 4 to the CT, leaving him with 3 armor, needs a 12 to avoid hurting the pilot. Needs a 5 to stay conscious, gets an 8. Petra took 20 plus, needs a 5, gets a 7. Alright, Hoser is at 2 heat. Petra is at 2 heat. Everyone else is running relatively cool. Alright, we've won initiative going into round 10, and this is when their reinforcements arrive. They appear to be arriving on the north side. We've got a sensor return. We've got some tanks. Don't know where the rest of them are. Uh, Yarvik. Yarvik, you're going to stand still some more. Uh, Petra. You are going to back up and be preparing to get the heck out of there. Uh, Hoser. You do not have a shot from there. Got a little bit of a shot from here. We'll hold off on that. We'll see what we can see. Uh, Tsubasa. Might as well sprint forward with some mask. It's a three or higher. Hopefully we don't screw up our leg actuators. Uh, Warwolf will advance into these woods. Uh, our Griffin maybe runs up on the Clint and gets in a kick or something. I wouldn't mind having the Clint completely dead. Also, maybe we'll give the Hunchback a target, and then we can close on the Hunchback with Hoser. Uh, the Shadowhawk 
actually has backed into the woods. Uh, we can hit him on his right side from where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's close range. Uh, yeah. We can back up back into those woods later. Alright, Tsubasa needed a 3, got an 8, the Falcon needed a 6, got a 5, and presumably side slips. Uh, the Clint ejects, so there was no point in closing in on him. Uh, Yarvik at the Gazelle on 5, so that's going to be everything. And a medium laser, can't hit anything except that pilot. Uh, Hoser at the Shadowhawk on threes and a seven. We'll go three heat over for a seven. Uh, Griffin at the Hunchback on a ten. And the Shadowhawk on an eight. The Falcon on an eight. Or we could go for the Maxim on a four. Uh, which side of his is weak? Uh, he is weak on the left side, but he's got 13 points total. So... We'll go left side, we'll fire the PPC, that puts us at one heat over. You know what, we'll fire the LRM too, so that we can have a chance of killing it, even if it means we go five heat over. Uh, Warwolf at the Gazelle on fours. And fours, and nothing else in range. Uh, Tsubasa has no targets except the gazelle. He's got him on sixes, so we'll take those shots. Uh, Petra taking fire from the right side, from the condor and the vedette. Uh, Yarvik taking fire from the bulldog and the other vedette. Uh, Petra also taking fire from the Triumph. Can we try to finish off the Gazelle this turn? Yeah, on fours, I think we're going to try to finish off the Gazelle, and we're not going to do that with Cluster Munitions. Uh, we are down to three shots with our Solid Slug, but on a four, Griffin could help with the Gazelle. Uh, yeah, it could have. But I'm thinking guns off the field. Um, and then we've got the hunchback on 15s. That's not going to happen. And Captain Earl is going to skip. Triumph hits Petra in the head with a PPC at extreme range, forcing her first consciousness check, uh, which she makes with a 12. Uh, 12 LRMs to the right arm, center torso, and left arm. The gazelle landing 12 LRMs on the griffin's left arm, critting on his upper arm and shoulder, also to the left leg and right arm. Rifleman at the gazelle hits it in the aft, hits it in the aft, hits it in the left side, down to 32, down to 27. The vedette missing the condor, landing a hit for two to the right arm. Hoser at the shadowhawk hits it in the right leg, down to eight. PPC to the center torso, PPC to the left torso, critting on his autocannon, and large laser to the left arm, all of them going internal, except for the CT. Uh, the Vedette missing on a 12, the Griffin at the maximum, hits it in the left side, hits it in the front, does not get the kill. Warwolf at the Gazelle, hits it in the left side with both large lasers, hits it with 16 LRMs, uh, it is taking s uh, structural integrity. Uh, all the hits, Hoser's happy, and Hoser does not like Shadowhawks, apparently. Uh, that and the Technician on, uh... Oh man, one structure left. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, also this new mech seems to be performing rather well, I would say. Uh, so, Tsubasa landing two ER large lasers to the left side of the Gazelle, leaving it with one structure. 
the Falcon hitting the Griffin in the left torso with a pair of SRMs. Actually, more than a pair. It's down to one armor, and the left arm is down to zero. Punchback at the Griffin on fours, missing with the autocannon 20. <laughs> Couple of death threats on the text get right in line. Yeah, um, considering, I think, what, like a day had passed? Do we have any spare text? We do not have any spare text. Don't even think about it. So the Hunchback hitting the Griffin in the right arm and right torso with medium laser fire. The Banshee at the Gazelle. Hits it in the nose, hits it in the aft. Not hit it in the left side. Shadowhawk at the Griffin hits it in the left torso and the left arm. Left arm is down to two structure. The Griffin needs an eight to stay standing, gets the eight. Shadowhawk needs a three, gets a five. Petra needs a five, gets an eight. Uh, we will not be picking the pilot. Uh, we are about to start with drawing at full speed. Um, we just need to land one more hit on the gazelle's left side. Uh, we've lost initiative, which means we're going first. Uh, Yarvik, you will be standing still. You've been a major damage doer for us, dealer. Uh, Hoser, you're going to back up into these woods. Uh, our friendly Griffin will be jumping into these woods. Uh, Warwolf will be standing still as well. Uh, Tsubasa will be backing up and making a piloting check. It looks no. Forget that. Uh, we're going to jump. <laughs> uh, Earl will continue moving towards the edge of the map, as will Petra. Actually, Petra. Expose her right side. Oh man, I'm just worried she's gonna take like a, a head hit from some LRMs or something. Uh, Yarvik at the Gazelle on fives. Hoser has only one target. That's the gazelle on threes. Oh, no, out of range. So we won't, we'll be cooling down this turn. Uh, the griffin might as well be shooting at the maxim. Uh, no, not the PPC. Uh, that'll be the LRMs, so we're only two heat over. Uh, Warwolf at the Gazelle on twos. Uh, Tsubasa has the Gazelle on sevens. Sure, we'll go two heat over for that. Uh, Petra taking shots in the rear, looks like. Which is fine. Uh, yeah, and those are both definitely coming into her rear arc. Uh, she can back tank for a turn. That is actually preferable. Uh, we've got... Maxim on fives. We've got a couple pilots. We've got a hatchetman on a 16. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw in some PPC fire there. Just, uh just because we can, but I'm going to save the LBX ammo. And Earl, of course, cannot fire. All right, uh, Rifleman Yarvik gets the kill on the Gazelle. Destroyed by structural integrity collapse. All right, Hoser at the Gazelle hits it in the right side in the nose. The Griffin at the Maxim hits it in the front. Stalker at the Gazelle, the Gazelle is dead. A Vedette missing, the Vedette missing, the Blackjack hitting it in the nose. The Vedette missing Banshee at the Maxim hits it in the left side and finally kills it. 
The Triumph missing on an 8. Did we not take any damage that turn? And we didn't build up hardly any heat either. All right, that is our objective achieved. Let's get the heck out of here. We've won initiative going into round 12. Uh, Yarvik will be backing up and making a piloting check on a... Um, we jammed. Back up and unjam. On a three plus, yes, okay. So hopefully we can get that taken care of. Uh, Hoser. Oh, the Shadowhawk is advancing on Hoser. Uh, the Griffin uh, can actually... Now if we stand still, we won't be able to hit him. Uh, if we back up, though, we've got him in the back with our PPC at a range of three, which is not bad. Oh, we need a six plus. Uh, no, we will not be doing that. <laughs> not with this pilot. Uh, instead, we'll be jumping to here and getting ready to evac next turn. Uh, Warwolf will be back up. Tsubasa will be backing up, and Earl will continue his lonely trek. Um, oh dang, if we abandon the field and don't control the battlefield, we're going to lose the Atlas. Uh, do I want to lose the Atlas? We don't have a backup. There was a lot of good tech in that Atlas. Hmm. Why don't I pick up Earl with Tsubasa? That is not a bad idea. Because, honestly, I figured it wasn't worth getting Tsubasa out of position for. Earl's going to make his way off the field. Um. Oh, man. But there's just so many reinforcements. I don't think I can take them all, not in the state I'm in. No, I think we're going to have to deal with, accept the loss of the, uh, of the Atlas, which is a shame because I really like that machine. It was, had some good tech in it. It was well balanced, had a good bracket of fire. Uh, that sounds expensive, but is it more expensive to lose more max? That's about where I'm at right now, yeah. Um, Petra. We'll sprint forward and take some shots at the Shadowhawk on his left side, I guess. Uh, okay. Also the Archer. Um... Oh, dang, yeah, the archer was destroyed by engine destruction, so it's still on the field. And Wyvern's still in it. Uh, Yarvik's rack is still jammed. I mean, yeah, we can replace Max, but what about Wyvern? Where did Wyvern go down? I don't even remember. Wreck of the Stinger, Wreck of the Archer, Wyvern. Uh, yeah. Um, crap. We can do a prisoner exchange? Sure. Um, we don't mind dealing without Wyvern until it's time for the end of the contract. Uh, which would mean that I'd have to remember to do the prisoner exchange at the end of the contract. <laughs> we can do a jailbreak. I like the sound of that. Uh... 
All right. So we're we're gonna do a jailbreak or otherwise prisoner exchange to get Wyvern back. Uh, the archer is gonna be a loss. The the atlas is gonna be a loss. And recover their max. Um, there aren't rules for that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'd be able to do. Uh, maybe we can discuss it on the Discord. Uh, I know whenever I say we can discuss something on the Discord, it always seems like uh, not a lot gets said, but I don't know what else we can, what other avenue I have to to confer with you guys and decide what's fair and what's not. Uh, yeah, we'll throw in a cluster munition at the Shadow Hawk after we put some medium lasers in him. Uh, holds her at the Shadow Hawk, hits him in the right arm. <laughs> And the curse of the bad dice continues. Are there any hostile bases on the Stratcon map? Yes. I uh, could pretend that it is also a jail. There is, in fact, a, uh, an enemy mech base that we have already tried to assault once and failed right here. Uh, this is convoy, right? Uh, but yeah, hostile mech base, that is one of our contract objectives, so we're gonna have to take it out sooner or later, and the sooner the better, because they are getting reinforcements from that. But again, we tried once and failed. Um, so I don't know how another attempt is gonna go unless we've got more support points for, uh, for reinforcements. Uh, so yeah, Hoser hits one out of three on fives, hits him in the right arm, and the large laser to the right torso. The Shadowhawk, missing with everything except two SRMs, critting on Petra's LB-10X twice, you son of a... The Bidet missing, the Stalker hitting the Falcon in the front for eight, down to 16 armor there. The Bidet missing, the Bidet missing, the Blackjack at the Shadowhawk hits him in the right torso, critting on a heat sink. Bulldog missing on an 11. Petra at the Shadow Hawk hits him in the left arm, uh, transferring into the left torso. Hits him in the right arm, transferring into the right torso, and critting on his LRM5 ammo. So that is the Shadow Hawk down. Um, hmm. We're actually doing some pretty good work on the way out. We, I mean, they still have a hunchback. Uh, I don't know where he is at the moment, but yeah, we're maintaining our heat pretty well. Uh, it's, it's a shame about the LB-10X on Petra's mech, but she still has two PPCs and all the mediums. Uh, we have one initiative going into round 13, we're at 66%, they're at 54%. We're retaking the lead. Uh, but more importantly, we're getting the heck off the field. Uh, the griffin can go ahead and skedaddle. Uh, Warwolf is going to be backing up for several turns at this rate. Uh, Tsubasa. And Petra, can we get everyone out of LOS? I think we can get everyone out of LOS, except for the Hatchetman, and I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, we'll sprint. Uh, and Earl will continue his lonely advance towards the edge of the map. Uh, finally unjammed the Ultra Autocannon. 
Uh, Hoser has the Falcon on nines. Doesn't look like much of anything else, but we might as well. I'll throw in an 11 to be two heat over. That's a good option. Could assume they're getting ready to interrogate Wyvern and then ship him off planet. Oh, the, um, the mech base? Yeah? Uh, as well, I don't know if they're getting ready to ship him off planet or not. Uh, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility, for sure. Um, yeah, so... Wyvern at Mech Base. Uh, with Atlas and Archer, question mark. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, time for threats to the techs. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can threaten them if you think that'll help, but honestly, I don't... <laughs> They're doing their best. That's my interpretation. Uh, oh, he's at medium range. He's at uh, long range. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be both LRMs there. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to threaten the person maintaining the thing, keeping you alive. That is a solid point and one that I had not considered, to be honest. Um, Tsubasa has no targets. Petra is finally not taking any fire. Uh, she's about to get off the map. She has no targets. Yeah. And Earl has no targets. Uh, Falcon missing on 12s. Hoser hits it in the rear, immobilizing it, and the front, immobilizing it, down to 6 armor in both of those locations. Uh, the Vedette hitting Hoser in the right torso. The Stalker missing on 10s. The Condor missing on 11s. The Vedette missing on 11s. Vedette missing on 11s, the Bulldog missing on a 10. We're not taking a lot of fire at the moment, but it's not long before those tanks are going to start getting into range. Uh, we have one initiative, and we are going to continue our retreat. Uh, Hoser, can you back up if you need a three? Uh, Griffin will wait on that. We might be fleeing this turn. Earl is definitely going to be moving there. Uh, Warwolf is going to be moving there. Uh, Tsubasa is going to be preparing what? Well, Yeah, yeah, we'll just jump to there. Um, Petra. I'd like to keep her right side towards everything. <clears throat> and the Griffin might as well stand still this turn, maybe take some shots at that Condor. Hoser needed a 3, got a 10, so good piloting there. Uh, Yarvik, you've got shots on a couple pilots, but not much else. Uh, we do have shots on the Hatchetman, but only on 12s. Uh, we'll do single shots for that. Just as likely to jam as we are to hit if I do double shots. Targeting system is off. Um, I mean, 
Sure. Uh, we've got the hatchetman on eights. And a 12. We'll go three heat over for a 12. And the griffin has the hatchetman on a 12 or a 12. We'll do both. We'll go two heat over because we're about to be out of here. Uh, the stalker. Uh, we've got a goblin tank over here. Is not in range of our large lasers yet, but uh, let's see. We've got the foot platoon on tens. We've got the hatchetman on elevens. We've got the goblin on tens. Sure. Uh, Blackjack doesn't appear to have anyone in, in his sights. Petra likewise has no one in range and arc. And Captain Earl has no guns. Uh, Yarvik missing on 12s. Hoser missing 2 out of 3 on 8s. Uh, hit him in the left leg down to 12 armor there. The Griffin missing on 12s. The Vedette missing on 10s. The Condor missing on 9s. Warwolf missing on 10s. The Vedette hitting the Griffin in the right torso with an auto cannon 2. And that's not much of a firing round. <laughs> uh, everyone's still running pretty cool. Fire spreads. Huh. Uh, we've won initiative going into round whichever round this was. Uh, we'll have Earl move into those woods. Uh, Yarvik will back up into these woods. Warwolf will back up into these woods. Uh, Hoser. Hmm. I want to take a shot at the Falcon while it's immobile, but I don't see any way to get a shot at it. Uh, from where we are, we do have a shot on the Hatchetman, if he stands still. Uh, Petra, we'll go ahead and have you flee now. You're in rough shape as it is. Um, Holzer, we'll have you stand still for a turn. And then Griffin will take shots at a Vedette or a Condor or something. And then we'll all bounce next turn. Uh, Yarvik. As the hatchetman on 13s, not gonna happen. Hoser only has pilots in view. No, we've got eyes on the condor on 7s. That's not bad. Got a torso twist to get that guy on 3.7s. And we'll throw in an 11 just to be 3 heat over. Uh, the griffin at the condor on a nine. Just to be, yeah. And a seven. Warwolf has no one in range. Tsubasa has no one in range. Captain Earl has no guns. Uh, the Vedette missing, the Condor missing, the Vedette landing hits on the Griffin's left torso, critting on his jump jets. Uh, Hoser on 7s, hitting the Condor in the front, 2 out of 3, down to 16 armor there. Man, that thing is tougher than I thought it was. Uh, and then the Griffin firing 6 LRMs to the front, costing it half its movement points and injuring the driver, down to 10 armor. Uh, the Bulldog missing on an 11. Alright, I think that's about it. We're all just going to flee this turn, call it done. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we'll be here one more turn waiting for Warwolf. Everybody flees. <laughs> yep. Oh, we've got eyes on the hunchback on eights. Heck yeah, let's see if we can land some hits. Uh, we hit him in the right torso with a large laser, we hit him in the center torso with three LRMs. He's hurting, but we didn't go internal. That's going to be Team 2 has achieved all required victory conditions, I assume, even though it was actually our victory. Did we control the battlefield? No, we did not. Um... Hmm. Alice and the Archer, if we don't, we'll have to like do something to where we can't use them or repair them, but I don't want to lose the record of the damage that was done to them. And? No? No what? Um, yeah, I want to, I mean, if we put him down as a total loss, we'll lose, uh, everything about them. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and keep them on the roster, we'll keep maintaining them, I guess, um, but we won't do anything else with them. Uh, Petra took a hit, Wyvern is MIA, Earl took two hits, uh, all in all, not a good scene. Uh, let's see, the Atlas, we didn't get that kill, the, the Fubletoon, we didn't get that kill, the Archer, we didn't get that kill, the Falcon and the Clint, the Clint goes to Yarvik. Alright, so Yarvik with the Gazelle, the Drilson, and the Clint. Uh, Petro with the Assassin, the Maxim, the Shadowhawk. Wyvern with the Stinger, the Phoenix Hawk, and the Drilson, and Hoser with the Crusader. Things could have gone worse, yeah. I mean, we could have pulled back a bloody stump. Uh, I mean, we kind of got our butts kicked, we made, we lost some things. Um, yeah, we lost two mechs and a pilot, so it might have been something of a Pyrrhic victory. But yeah, it could have gone worse, we could have just gotten our totally annihilated. That's right, I minimized this earlier. All right, so, briefing room, Pyrrhic victory. All right, next battle is tomorrow. Uh, what can we do in the repair bay? How is the rifleman already back? Is that, that is the same rifleman, right? Uh, the Atlas we're not able to do anything with. Hoser's ride we're not... Uh, Sorry, it was the archer we're not doing anything with. No, it was uh, Wyvern's archer. Um, hmm. 
First of all, the infirmary. Uh, Dauphine is going to be taking care of both of our pilots. Uh, Petra has some cuts on her abdomen. Earl has some cuts on his left arm and his abdomen. Uh, let's see. We received 16,000 in battle loss for the Stalker. 500 for the Awesome. 191,000 for the Atlas. Well, that doesn't seem fair. That was like an 8 million Seabill Atlas, and they're giving us 0.2 million Seabills for it. The Archer, we got more for that. Uh, uh, I guess I guess the game doesn't think I lost them, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, so we got some money for battle loss compensations. Uh, we'll have to go on a mission to get back our, our mechs and our pilot. Uh, Campaign state hasn't changed at all because that was a TOD mission. Um, should have done that last week before we deployed. Uh, move unit and remove unit. Uh, and that does mean also that we are now short on our deployment requirements because we don't have four full lances. So we're gonna have to get someone into gonna have to get a mech into Mariana Lance. Maybe one of the Mackies, the 7A Mark II maybe. Success is primitive, so that's really a museum piece. Uh oh. No, we do have a spare atlas. I forgot. It's exactly like the other one. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and activate that. We'll have Shoyab has is doing maintenance on something. We'll have Susan get that out. We'll have Earl. There's Earl. Oh, he's in red because he's injured. Uh, we will assign to unit. Atlas number two. And we will add him to the TO and E. Uh, so let's see, what else did we have? Sign the unit as pilot. We've got uh, the Atlas that we're not using, the Longbow that we need to put into storage, uh, the Stalker and the Hoser's Ride that were damaged and not ready for action, and the Wyvern's Archer that we're not using. Okay, so, uh, other than putting the Longbow into storage, all of our time can be spent putting things into repairs. So, Rifleman, which took significant but not overwhelming amount of damage we'll have Chris uh, maybe knock those out no we don't need an elite tech to do that uh, we've got we'll have big knock do the first one have Goyam do the second one and we've got I guess Sh what? No, Shada is going to be our ammo tech. Uh, Guillaume. Actually, we can do this at a quarter time with a veteran. Do this at a quarter time with a veteran. Okay, so yeah, we can work on uh, Hoser's Dried relatively quickly, actually. Uh, we'll have... Chris is saving up for XP, so she's going to knock out all these quick little jobs for Earl. If you want to threaten Chris, well, she's not the one working on your, on your uh, targeting system, so don't do that. <laughs> oh, right. Um, uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have to replace that right leg, which means we're gonna have to salvage everything out of the right leg. Uh, Big Knock, can you do that? Yes, and he gained an XP for it too, nice. Uh, medium lasers are gonna be pretty big jobs, I think. Uh, not times four jobs though. Uh, Kai can knock out a couple of these actuators. Shoyab can... No, Shoyab's gonna have more, uh, reloading to do. We'll have George do the actuator. Now I can put it back in repair mode before I forget and do something stupid, like take it apart while I'm not paying attention. Uh, we're going to scrap the leg. Uh, as soon as Edeborg is ready, she'll be replacing the leg, unless... Penny on a six? No. Four days on a six. Not as much repair since the mechs were left behind. Um, I mean, we still have plenty of repairs to do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Um... Now we'll have Penny start working on that leg. It'll be four days, and she'll need a six, but it should be doable, hopefully. Uh, that was Shada, was our ammo tech today. Uh, the archer, that's Ash's archer. We're messing with that one. It's Wyvern's archer, we're not. Uh, the Banshee is going to have some reloading to do. Uh, we'll have Denise knock out that, replace the LBX, we want to spend full time on that. Uh, we'll have B do that on a 4. That means, if I'm not mistaken, no? Do we not have, oh, it was just straight up destroyed, we don't get to repair it? Well, that sucks. Uh, the left torso is going to be a big job. Uh, but not that big, apparently. It's in really good shape. Uh, we'll have Halima do that on a three. Uh, the center torso, we can have him do that on a four. Barely. Uh, so now it's just armor damage. Uh, Shoya. Yeah, let's get in here on some of this armor. Uh, Ogiko. That's 225, that leaves you with 15, so you can do that and reload something. Uh, stalker. Now we can reload something on the, on the Stalker. Alright, so let's see. The Atlas we're not messing with. Hoser's Ride's getting a leg. The archer is going to have some work to do. Uh, it's going to need an arm, it's going to need a hatchet. It's going to need some actuators and a laser. Uh, Chris can maybe knock out this armor. Okay, good. It wasn't in that bad of a shape. Uh, who can do this engine? Vernita can do that on a three over the course of today and tomorrow. Uh, Veronica can replace this laser over today and tomorrow. After that, it's just gonna be... Oh, internal damage, arm, uh, armor, you know, stuff like that. We'll have Guyon knock out this 70-minute job. Emily can knock out this 20-minute job. Chris can do this armor. Red Modri can do that armor. Uh, we'll do that. All 
All right, so we're just missing the leg there. We've got some work to do there. The archer we're not messing with. Hoser's Ride 2.0 just needs that. And the Stalker. Stalker almost lost its left torso. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the one that uh, Edeborg is working on. So, um, well, these are going to be times four. We'll do some reloading. All right, what else can we do with not a lot of time? Uh, Chris can get started on that. Uh, Loney can get started on that. And this thing is in rough shape. <laughs> Uh, I think we're getting close to the end of what we can do in one day. Do that on a five, hopefully. And George Valdez, what can you do? George Valdez can get started on that. Now we've got. 15 minutes of spare tech time for today. I'm okay with leaving that on the table. Uh, what are we looking like for LB10Xs? Are we... We're down to one. So let's see if we can put in for, say, maybe three more of those. We're not going to be able to get them, but at least I want them on the list. Um, hmm. So that's the warehouse. Uh, personnel. Fred Jones is 4 XP away from getting Sniper. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit before his Lance is ready for combat again. Um, let's see. Petra is going to be out for two days. Earl's going to be out for six. Uh, let's see. Ash's Archer, yeah, it's an arm, so that's going to be a little while. Galatea is actually in good shape. Galatea hasn't seen any combat lately, so it makes sense that they're in good shape. Uh, Aleutian Lance is also deployed, and they're about to be involved in this convoy escort mission. Uh, our attached ally is a 5-6 and a Hermes 2. Convoy. The Allied Convoy is a bunch of uh, industrial and non-combat mechs. We've got 11,000 points of op for, which hardly seems fair. Um, and we've got 6,000 points worth of enemy reinforcements. And this is an 8,000 point lance. Eight and a half. Still. Uh, that's almost a 1.5 to 1 advantage. I've got a pair of Von Lochners, one of which with a 2-3 pilot. It is all tanks, though. I'm not seeing any mechs until we get to the reinforcements. Then they've got four mechs. Um, but that'll be happening tomorrow. One support point per surviving unit. We have one support point, so we could use that for reinforcements. We could get Galatea Lance on the way. Uh, is it worth our support point to get uh, Galatea Lance involved in this? You know what? I think it is. All right, now, uh, real quick, let me double check the briefing room. Okay, yeah, we're back up to full strength. We've got Aleutian and Galatea Lance pending. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, what else have we got going on today? I think that's it. Let's go ahead and advance. Maintained unit. Oh, because uh, we took this other atlas out of storage. 
Uh, set extra maintenance time. Oof, this is going to cut into some uh, into our tech time as well. Uh, this thing is in C and D kind of shape, which is not ideal. So I want to leave it at times four. Uh, can we get? So sick, maybe working on that. Oh, uh, we've got the other stalker, which is in mixed quality. I'm seeing a bunch of A's and I'm seeing a bunch of E's. So let's see if we can set extra for four. It already is. Can we get a veteran on that? How about Loney? No, how about Susan? And then last but not least, uh, Hoser's Backup Ride. Uh, maintenance time at times four. Last maintenance report was, oh, blank. It has not been maintained at all yet. So we're going to assign person. I guess it'll be Loney. Jeez. Now we are, <laughs> we have too many men. Max and not enough tax. Uh, the Jenner is refitting. Um, we need to get the longbow into storage, but that'll wait until tomorrow. We will advance the day. All right, convoy escort is today. Deploy a force from your T O N E. Uh, already done. Maintenance on the Hetzer. Uh, slight improvement on the auto cannon. That works for me. Uh, we got the engine fixed on Ash's Archer. Nice. Uh, Loni is still working on the armor for the Stalker. And now she only has like 120 minutes a day to do that. So that might be a little extra time there. Uh, Chris fixes the armor. Uh, Edeborg is going to be another day on the left torso. Uh, everything else is getting fixed and replaced. The right leg is going to be another two days, I believe. Uh, we've got the Warhammer coming up in less than ten days. And a bunch of parts we can't find. So, uh, briefing room. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? Uh, other than not having any tech time because we're spending it all on maintenance, trying to keep all of our guys in good shape. Uh, other than that, yeah, no, we're doing great. Uh, now this battle, which I think I'm going to hold off on engaging for tonight. Um, we've got two lances. Escort the allied convoy across the map or route the attacking force. Hostiles are coordinating additional forces in the area. Ground liaison, keep them alive. Enemy mech reinforcements from the mech base. Additional hostile mechs are approaching the area. Okay, we need to smash that mech base and we need to do it soon. Very, very soon. Um, we're looking at Alexander Valley. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and save here, but I want to see what this Alexander's Valley looks like. Get a sneak preview of next week's episode. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Let's see if we can get this, like, full screen. Something about this reminds me of a San Simon Landmine map, but uh, I th there's too much empty space here. What kind of hex is that? Planted fields. So those can catch on fire, but they're not going to interfere with visibility or anything. Uh, bordered by woods. We've got a bridge here and two more here. A bunch of bridges, actually. Uh, where are we deploying? We're deploying in the north, the convoy is deploying in the north, the primary op four is deploying in the south, and the reinforcements are deploying in the west. So we're gonna be up here. 
We could just scoot down this path as fast as possible. Uh, as long as we don't try to pass each other on the bridge, we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, if the enemy reinforcements are coming in from the west, I want to stay away from the west as much as possible. So that is what we are looking at for next week. Um, hmm. This is an interesting map. It really is. It gives us some nice large vision blocks where we can't be seen from over here when we're over here. Uh, we've got another nice big vision block over here. So honestly, if they deploy their reinforcements over here, we're going to have a pretty easy time getting down here around them. So that's actually not all bad. We'd just be following the roads. Works for me. All right. So let me close out of here. I know we're disconnected. Uh, I know it's still like three minutes shy of two hours, but you guys, I'm going to call it just a little bit early tonight. Because I feel like this is a good stopping point. We've already saved our game. We've looked at the next mission. Uh, the only thing we really could do is get into some of these repairs. Uh, which... I mean, the stalker is going <laughs> to... Oh, we've got some work to do for our tax. And not a lot of time to do it with. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and double save the game just because I'm paranoid about that kind of thing. And we will catch you next week. So don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, join the community. Link to the Discord is in my bio. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, Varank, Amisa, McGorilla, uh, and Gribbly if you're still here. I appreciate you guys all joining me. Um, don't forget to join, come in next week. Uh, uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, we're going to raid Big Fluffy. Didn't see much, but it was pretty tense what I saw. Yeah, um, it was a pretty intense battle. It really was. So... Um, until next week, have a good night, have a good weekend, and have a good week. We'll see you then.